you know that we are now going to be having Common Core standards. So we have to take the programs that we're already using and we have to kind of tweak them to fit our new Common Core standards. So this is what I want to show you. We're going to do some math lessons today and the math lesson that we're going to do today is we're going to be dividing by three but we're going to have a lot of discussion about it. We're going to figure out different ways that we can do to solve these division problems. Remember, I want to hear discussion. This is what you're solving. One dime times three equals parentheses one dime plus one nickel parentheses times three. Let me just ask a quick question. What do these mean? What do the parentheses mean? Tell your partner. Plus two five nickels. Plus two five nickels. Plus two five nickels. Plus two five nickels. So what do the parentheses mean? Add it together, but do I do it last or do I do that part first? Yes. first? Do that part first. So here we go. You have got to come up with a strategic plan on how you're going to solve it. I want to hear you guys talking about this. And then I actually want to see you solving this problem. Do you notice that I'm using some of those academic vocabulary words? Yes. yes. All right. Work with your partner. Come up with a plan. Are you going to do a diagram? Are you going to use your number line? Are you going to use, what are some other ways? Repeat it. Addition. Addition. Why is it addition? Because it's not division. It's multiplication. It's not division. Yeah. Why is it addition? It's multiplication. It's not division. Okay, begin. You can use like you got the add-ins, you added them together, you got the sum. Okay? Is it balanced? Is it not balanced? Alright. So first we Okay. So we said first we did ten cents times three, then we ended with then we ended with thirty. Uh, so now so then we did fifteen cents times three. Okay. Fifteen, fifteen times two fifteen cents. We forgot to say okay. So remember, you did your drawing. Wait, I have to do times three. So what's the first thing that you did? Times three. What did you do? Ten. First, we did ten cents times three. Then we ended with 30, 15 cents, 4, 4 cents, 4, wait, 15 cents times 3 equals 45 cents. Can I ask you guys a question? Can I ask you where you got 15 cents from? Um, we got the 15 cents from a dime plus a nickel. So 10 plus 5? Good. Why don't you ask the class, is there anyone else that solved it a different way? Okay, so here we go. Awesome. So explain your diagram in your words what you did. The first thing is 10 times 3 equals 
thirty and ten then and then it goes on to the next one it goes to ten plus five equals fifteen and it's fifteen times three equals forty five. So you decided to use well, diagrams. Solve it on your dry erase board and then we're going to share out. Well, what are you going to use? Can you use structures? Can you use related fact families? Can you use your diagrams? Your circles? What are you going to do? A number line. So you're going to kind of do repeated subtraction. What, what, what number are you going to start with on your number line? 21. And then what are you going to count by? Threes. Why are you going to count by threes? Where'd you get the three from? Esperanza and her her two friends. Okay. So twenty-one divided by three equals seven. And I use my number line and skip count by three. Did you skip count forward or did you skip count backwards? Skip count backwards. Good. So show me show me how you did it. What number did you start at on your number line? Twenty-one. And then what did you count backwards by? Threes. By threes. And when you got to the zero, how many jumps did you make? Seven. Seven. So that gave him seven dollars. Is there yes. anyone else that did a different way? First, you look for the keywords, and it was how much will each of them get. So, and then we, there was her two friends, and Ms. Esperanza. Um, we... We um, added Esperanza with two, one plus two, and then we put divide, divide, divide because um, 21 mm -hmm. is the biggest number. Okay. And so we put the repeated subtraction. I went to 21 minus 3, and then I did 18, and then 18 minus 3. 15 and then 15 minus 3 is 12 and then 12 minus 3 would be 9 and then wait huh uh-huh and 9 9 minus 3 equals 6 and 6 minus 3 equals 3 so 3 minus 3 equals 0 and how many how many problems did you get 7 so it equals 7 dollars very good